That's it. This is how you make a beat from a cup. Or anything, really. What's up everyone? This is Atlanti. How are you guys doing? So it's finally not as hot as it's been recently here in Italy. So I was like, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna shoot my intro outside, talk to you guys for a second. Uh, I've already been in the studio like a couple hours now working. It's like 10.30 a.m. So yeah, I'm here on my little bench here and we're gonna chat for a bit. I've been out of town for the past couple of days. I went to the beach to kind of like relax. Uh, I feel like we all need a moment to like just cut loose from the social media, from the posting. Um, it's not like it's stressful, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just something in the back of my mind. And even when I go on trips, even when I do things, I'm always like, oh, I gotta prepare content. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I gotta shoot a video, I gotta prepare, you know, the next beat, whatever. Uh, and sometimes I just like to take a couple of days, leave my phone at home, basically. I don't even touch my phone. Uh, no camera with me, like nothing like that. And it's just like me, my wife, and we just chill. And we just spend some time together. I think that's really important to take a little break, even when you're like hustling and when you're working like really hard all day. So yeah, I've been a little bit quiet on social media for the past couple days, but I'm back. It's Monday and I'm back on the grind, back on the routine. It seems like you guys have really been enjoying this like vlog type videos that I've been doing. Uh, I'm gonna keep going with these because they're really fun. I don't know, they're just more natural to me. They're just more fun to do than just like tutorials. There are so many tutorials on YouTube and I just wanna do something unique, something that brings my personality in and something that connects me with you guys on a more like personal level than just like, a tutorial but I'm still gonna do tutorials like within these videos uh, or even like as a separate thing so yeah I really appreciate your support on these vlogs and I'm definitely gonna keep going with these I wanted to start a video today by showing you how I made that beat with the glass so many of you guys have asked me like how did you make all those sounds with the glass some people ask like did you cheat how did you make the bass and the kick drum with a glass cup I'm gonna show you let's go inside so one thing that I learned about sound design by watching channels like Andrew Wong and a bunch of different channels is that you can pretty much turn any sound into any other sound. Uh, like you can turn a piano into strings. You can turn a cup into an 808. As long as you know how to manipulate it with like effects and like using the sampler the right way and stuff, you can pretty much turn any sound into any other sound. Um, and it's actually a really fun way to like sound design and create like percussions, create melodies, create like, you know, synths, whatever you want. So yeah, let me show you how I made this beat. All right, here we go. So the first thing I did was taking this cup right here and I started hitting it in different ways to get some different sounds like this or that, you know, just whatever, just hitting a cup. I ended up getting sounds like this one or this one, this one, whole bunch of cup sounds. So after chopping up some of those sounds, the ones that I liked the most, I started building the sound for the main melody. I took this little piece right here, so I'm just gonna chop the beginning here. I'm gonna EQ the lows out. I'm gonna drench it in reverb. Then I put a frequency shifter on it. I put a resonator on it as well. And then to top it off at the end, I put a saturator just to get that frequency to really come out and become like really a note rather than just like a little hit. So once I had the sound, I turned it into audio, I put it into a simpler so I could play it like a keyboard and I got this melody. I then took that melody, I doubled it on two tracks, I penned one right and one left and delayed one of them by a little bit right here just so I could get more like a stereo effect and they would just sound like fuller. After that, I put them both into a group and I ran them through Shaperbox to get this sound. That's it for the melody. All right, let's move on to the bass sound. So for the bass sound, I actually took that same sound that we used earlier, this one. I put it into Simpler and I chopped the very beginning of it like this, like you can see here, just like the very beginning of the attack. And I did this thing that you can do in Sampler where you can loop the sustain of it. So when you hold it down, every time it gets to the end of that little chop, it just restarts and it does this thing. Once I did that, I pitched it down a whole bunch and I got this sound. So then on that sound, I put an EQ right here. I put max bass to just pull out some of those bass frequencies. I saturated it a whole bunch, um, turned down the gain on it, compressed it, and that was it. Pretty decent bass considering we started from a cut. All right, let's move on to the last element, which is the drums. So for the kick drum, I took this sound right here. I pitched it down 26 semitones. I put an EQ on it, and then I saturated it like crazy to get that kick drum sound. 
That's it. Sounds like a pretty good kit. For this snare type sound, I took this little quiet hit that I did on the cup. I pitched it down eight semitones. I ran it through a saturator and I put an EQ on it. That's it. Then we have like four more other percussions. Uh, the process has really been the same. I chopped out the sound. I put it through a saturator to just pull out those frequencies and then I EQ'd it the way I needed it. So these are all the percussions that we have. Then I just programmed a little groove and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. When you put it all together with the bass and with the melody, this is what it sounds like. That's it. This is how you make a beat from a cup. Or anything, really. For the last part of today's video, I wanted to do a little Q&A. Uh, I put out a story on Instagram asking you guys to send me questions and you guys sent me a whole bunch of them. I'm only gonna go through a few of them, uh, but I wanted to kind of make this Q&A thing like a recurring thing. Maybe not every video, but every now and then I like squeeze in a little segment of like a Q&A. Anyway, before we do that, I'm gonna go eat some lunch and I'm gonna go for a quick run and I'll see you guys back here for the Q&A. All right, let's teleport to after the run, after the lunch, all of that in three, two, one, go. Question number one, what are your goals for the next five years as a music producer? My main goal is growing my brand. So basically doing what I've been doing already, but making it more, making it bigger, making it better. For me, it's not just about selling the beats. Like sure, that's like my main source of income right now, but my bigger picture is more towards my brand. So I wanna have a successful YouTube channel. I want Ed Talenti to be a name that's recognized. Uh, I don't really care that much about like major placements or anything like that. If they come, they come, but that's not what I'm working towards like the most. So yeah, during the next five years, I would like to see Ed Talenti become a brand that people recognize both in the producer community and in the rappers community. Hope that answers your question. How do you stay consistent and how did you grow on IG, Instagram? I get this question a lot. I actually get them both a lot. But the first one, how do you stay consistent? For me personally, it's never been an issue to stay consistent just because I actually can't stop. Like if I stop doing it, if I'm not consistent, if I skip days, I feel this like overwhelming sense of just guilt and frustration um, and it makes me hate everything. So I need to come in the studio and I need to do something, whether it's make a beat, make a video, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I need to put something out there. If you're not that type of person, there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, just come to the terms with the person that you are, listen to yourself and learn to identify what is it that makes you happy. It's totally okay to force yourself a little bit to do something because you wanna achieve a certain result, but at the same time, make sure that in that process you're not making yourself unhappy by forcing yourself too much in a direction that is not what comes natural to you. How old were you when you started producing music? I was actually pretty old. I've been doing music since I was 10, I picked up the drums, then at 18 years old I started doing it professionally, like drumming, and I did that until about 24, maybe. And then at like 24, 25, I picked up production. Uh, I'm 27 right now. So it's only been like three years. It was like the last of my phases. But it is the one that's been the most successful so far. And I'm really happy that I took that rap. Oh, this is a good one. What's the thing that made you start doing music? Uh, when I was about 10 or 11, my parents bought me a drum set. And at that time, my dad used to play bass and sing and a little bit of piano. He never did like full time professionally, but he was really into music his whole life. And my uncle at the same time was playing guitar uh, and he played in like a few bands, like cover bands and stuff. So my very first musical experience was actually playing with the two of them. We started a band, it was called It, like the clown. And we were just playing like covers of like 80s rock and metal, like Iron Maiden and like Deep Purple and like Rainbow, like old school rock basically. That experience really showed me like the value that music had in my life. Like after a couple years of doing that, music was like, it took over everything else. I started sucking in school, which is not good, um, but I just kind of like abandoned everything and it was all about music all day, every day. So yeah, that's why I started doing music. All right, that's the last question I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't want these Q&As to get too long, uh, but I do wanna do it more frequently. Instead of doing like one video that's just a Q&A, I'm just gonna kinda like try to squeeze them in as like a little segment in some of the regular videos. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Uh, like I just said, I post three videos a week, and yeah, I really appreciate your support. Also, if you wanna hit me up privately, if you have a question, you just wanna say hi, whatever it is, Instagram is the best place to do that. Just shoot me a DM, and as soon as I can, I'll respond to you. All right, I guess this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I'll see you next time, and as always, be positive, and positive things will happen.